Well, welcome in today. Today we are doing the Hondo by Work Tough Gear. Let me just speak to this real quick. Guys, that's how I carry my fixed plates. I don't know why I started doing that, but for about the past year, I just tuck them in my belt. It's easier for me. It's more convenient. Sometimes I'll put an ulti clip on it, whatever. To the knife, to that point. To the knife. This is the Hondo. It's designed by Jeremy Boulder Valentine. The name comes from his brother. That's his brother's nickname. And years ago, Jeremy promised he was going to make him some knives. And he's come up with a couple good ones here. The Pathfinder was Jeremy's design. And this is the Hondo. I was going to call it its little brother. But that that's just not, that don't fit. This knife is a big, big knife. And guys, if you're new here, we do a lot of reviews on big knives. That's kind of how we started the channel. It's what I enjoy doing. I take it as a challenge uh, to, to, to be able to use a big knife. I speak to the knife in hand. I can't speak to anything else, and we don't make big, broad generalizations. All that crap being said, well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. I'm excited about this one, man. This knife has a classic Americana look a great feel sharpened spine you see that there we're going to talk all about it the thing is this guys i love this knife i love the way it carries i have used it used it used it did a quick strop and jumped into the video now typically typically i'll show you a knife straight out of the box so you can get the sharpness you can get all that this thing came razor sharp and I stropped it back up pretty quick. We cut a lot for this video. Typically, when I start a video, um, I, I'll do, I don't know, man, probably three, four hours worth of cutting, go back. And I don't take the best segments. I take the ones in between. I throw out the bad ones, throw out the great ones, because I want to give you a good look at the knife and an honest look at the knife, right? We're doing some drops here. So we're going to look at this knife in a bunch of different aspects. I've got to tell you this. Just like every single work tough gear that I've handled, the handle is money. I absolutely adore it. I love the handle ergonomics. The transitions from a fencing grip to a stabbing grip, very, very smooth, no hot spots. You can see right here how sharp the damn knife is, man. That's That's reinforced sandblast hose it's some thick stuff it's reinforced the knife has zero problems we're doing some accordion style cuts now right here right here old scabber takes a hard left i, I just kind of i don't know what the hell i was doing and i want to point out a couple things to you sometimes as a knife reviewer you can get caught up in shit and forget the camera's on right why I picked this thing up, I don't know. I'm glad I did, though. Not every cut's going to be perfect. Not every cut's going to be in the perfect position. Here, we're out of position. We made the cut. You know, I would have been better served to hold it on the thing. But the thing that I like about the Hondo, other than the name, and I love the name, because I equate the name with a John Wayne movie. Huge John Wayne fan, if you didn't know that already. Love John Wayne. But thing that I like about this knife is it's just got a real aggressive look to it. Now, I'm going to give you all the specifics real quick before we delve into the performance. As far as a performer, and let me just say this. When it comes to work tough gear, man, I'm sold. I'm sold. I got close to 200 videos, I think, with their stuff. I, I, I could put a blindfold on and pick up one of their knives. If you put four knives in front of me from various makers, I promise you I could find which one theirs is. They feel great in hand. They're always sharp as shit. They're always easy to use, and that's a big thing. So let's go over the particulars here. Now, this is the Hondo. It is 0.23 inches thick, so it's just under a quarter inch thick. The overall length is 14 inches, and like I said, guys, it is a big damn knife, but I love that. The blade length is 7.9 inches. The cutting edge 
is 7.9 inches. Now, most of their knives are saber grinds with a convex cutting edge. This one is no different. The handle, the inner grip, now this is where it gets a little tricky on this style knife because if you just look at the numbers, the inner grip's like three and three quarters, right? Fits my hand okay. Well, fits my hand well, but it's deceptive because it's not an open pommel. Because of the curvature of the pommel, it sits a little deeper. So if I was going to equate it to like a open inner grip, it's right at about four and an eighth. And I know that sounds weird. You just kind of got to hold one to, to see what I'm talking about. But the other side is the way that swoop, the way that pommel sweeps up, I can choke down, drop my pinky finger and ring finger on it to get some real good leverage. And it's comfortable as hell. No hot spots in the handle. It is G10. Now, the weight... And, and again, guys, and like I said, I was going to call this, oh, the little brother of the Pathfinder. It, that, that's just, it just doesn't fit, man, because it's nobody's little brother. The weight of the knife is 19.5 ounces. When you throw in the sheath, it is 22.1 ounces. So it's got some weight to it. The thing about Jeremy's designs now, Jeremy Boulder Valentine is also a knife maker and a pretty damn accomplished one at that. But he has several designs that I adore. He's been on the channel for an interview. I've used a lot of his, from the Wilson to the Nymph to the Thor to the Pathfinder to this. He's just got a hell of a lineup. The thing that I love about the combination of Jeremy's designs and Work Tough Gear's build quality is they make a knife that you have confidence in. I've said this a million times. I'll say it a million more. If my grandsons, when they get older, if they say, Granddaddy, we're going camping, can we use some knives? It'll be work tough gear. From fit, from pocket fix blades, to belt knives, to choppers. And not because I got a bunch of it, but because I believe in it. Because I've beat the hell out of it. Now, you're gonna see, that's, that's just a stump of oak, and we're hitting it flat, straight down. Wanted to get some good wax on it. We're at the property, and I wanted to kind of explain why I, I hit the oak stump like that. One is to show you the edge, okay? Just some flat, quick chops. We're going to do some chopping. Kirk cut down a couple of trees for me um, before he went out of town, and they've been sitting there kind of drying out. I needed to get them chopped up. It is not hard wood. So I thought, you know what? Before we go chopping into these and somebody gets the wrong idea, I wanted to chop some hardwood so I did 10 10 or 12 straight wax there on the oak which is harder than a brick bat and then we go to this and I'm gonna be quiet I just want y'all to watch the, the bites we get here Now we do a good bit of chopping. And like I said, you see it's it's a, a little bit green and we'll go to some tougher wood. But here's the thing. When you take that, that 19 ounces that's 14 inches long and you drop, you choke down and drop your two fingers down to the bottom, you've got a wicked, wicked chopper that hits insanely hard. I mean, it hits insanely hard, and that's what I like. Now, the beauty of this knife is it's also a good size for a camp knife. It's sharp enough that you can use it for any task, and it's balanced. It's not hard on you. Overall, would I carry it? you damn right I'd carry it. I love it. Guys, before we wrap it up, there was a time in this country where 22 bets a day took their own lives. Now. We're in the holidays, the number's higher. The actual numbers are anywhere from 15 to 29. That's why here on the channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Bets, we love you. You have a place here. I back the blue. We all know that by now. 
I'm not arguing with anybody over it. I don't force it on anybody. It's my thing. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, the Hondo, I'm scabbed. You're not, and I'm gone.